Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today I've got a pretty sweet stack of used discs that I'm really excited to share with you guys. As you guys know, I'm a sucker for a sweet used bin and sometimes I find some really cool gems, sometimes I don't, but this time I definitely did. Actually, one of the things I'm most excited to share with you guys, I got this really, really sick old school Neutron Tesla, super old patent pending guy. You do not see these very often. This is the only one in a used bin that I've ever seen or a used collection that I've ever seen. I've gone through a lot of used discs and I've never seen one of these in one of those bins. So I'm really excited to show you guys that. And then I got a bunch of other really sweet discs here. Plus I've got the new Bernoulli recycled disc golf discs and I'll be throwing those for you guys as well. We'll give everything a throw. I haven't thrown any of these discs and I'm really excited to particularly throw that Tesla I've also got some old collectible Latitude 64 discs here, and then I've got some old Elite X Avengers from Discraft. These feel like they're gonna be really flippy and understable, but they're these really sweet dyed, um, factory dyed Elite X Avengers. I'm expecting these to be pretty stable, possibly roller discs. This one's 165. So let's get this thing underway. Oh, it's stable. I expected that to flip. Okay, wait, if these are stable, they feel incredible and the dyes look insane. I was expecting them to be really, really flippy. Wait a minute. That actually completely surprised me. These things are sick. I did not expect these old Avengers to be this stable. The heck? Dude, these things are absolute laser beams. Whoa. All right, that is very surprising. Next, we'll go over the Latitude 64s, and then I have a stack of three really sweet MVP discs. This disc I thought was really, really funny because it says, it's just very descriptive. Overstable long-range driver with good glide. I've never seen a disc that has that in-depth of a description on it. And then we have a very similarly stamped bolt that also has a good description on it. It says, understable high speed, long distance driver, which I thought these old Latitude stamps were just kind of funny. We'll throw the bolt and then we'll throw the flow. Well, that thing absolutely goes. That thing's sick. All right, and we got the flow here. Also very, very nice. And I've got three MVP discs to show you guys. We've got the old, super old school Neutron patent pending Ion, extremely cool disc. We've got an old Proton Anode, also patent pending. And then we've obviously got the gem. The best find in the collection was going to be this Tesla. Tesla's become very popular since Simon has started throwing it. It was already popular, now it's extremely popular. Let's give the putters a throw and then we'll throw the Tesla. We'll start off with this patent pending ion. A little more stable than I thought it would be. And then we've got anode, proton. Nice and stable with a good little fade at the end. Now we've got the gem here, the Tesla. It's 168, but I assume it's going to be pretty stable. We're going to go nice and flat. Oh, that's a nice Tesla. Pick up and glide with a good hard fade at the end. That is a super nice Tesla. Let's go grab everything. We're going to throw it back. I'm actually going to throw these two Bernoulli recycled mid-ranges while we're at it. These feel really flippy. It's actually pretty nice. All right, this one's 161. Probably be a little bit flippier. Whoa, that thing goes. Feels very similar to a Buzz. Just has a very different feeling plastic. This putter's probably the best feeling from that bunch of Bernoulli discs. 
feels very similar to a KC Pro AVR. Just a nice deep dish, big bead putter. Yeah, I thought it'd be stable. All right, let's go grab everything. We'll throw it back. All right, I am in disbelief by how stable these Avengers were. We do have a slight headwind coming back. So I'm curious to see if they're still stable coming back into a slight headwind. But these things are money. They feel really good, but I thought they were just going to be like dumb flippy. Mid 160s, Elite X Avenger. Beauty of a driver. <sighs> headwind, no problem. Because they're a bit lighter weight, you saw at the end of the flight, instead of having a big fade, it just sort of dropped. That's because lightweight discs slow down faster than max weight discs. So they're not going to have as much of a crash. They're going to just have a more gentle fall because they are slowing down so much faster. This one's 166. It did turn a little, but not too much. This one, I cannot tell how much it... Oh, it says 161. So this one's the lightest. These old factory dies are so sick. All right, put it up in the air. See if we can get a little turn here. Kind of forced it over a little. But look at that line flattening out the whole way. Having just a nice gentle fade back towards the end. Those things are sick. I might wind up bagging one of those for a very specific shot shape. And we've got our two Latitude 64 discs. This bolt went super far on the first throw. Then we've got the overstable long driver with good glide, AKA the flow. I think the flow rolls off the tongue a little bit better than that long name. Come on. I know Matty O really likes the flow and I can see why. That thing feels and flies absolutely incredible. Um, I am a little worried about losing the bolt. I'm not going to throw it back into the headwind because I don't want to turn it over into the water. I've learned my lesson from past mistakes. Then we've got the Ion, the Anode, and the Tesla. I'm going to Anheuser this Ion a little bit. It's pretty stable. These old Ions are more stable than I thought they would be. And then the old Anode was a little bit straighter than the Ion. Oh, that landed on the bridge and then slid under the wood and off into the woods. So hopefully we can find that one. Now we've got super sick Neutron Tesla. This thing is an absolute gem. I would not be surprised to see if Eagle McMahon was bagging one from this run. They feel good. They're super flat. It seems pretty stable. <laughs> oh! <laughs> We're going to have to thank the tree on that one. So I am planning a trip out to North Cove this weekend. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain much. I'm going to go help Rivas over at the Greatest Media Team with some filming. Um, we're obviously going to play probably two or three rounds while we're out there. We should be out there for two days. So if there's any content that you guys want to see on the Blue Ridge Championship courses, go ahead and let me know. I thought it'd be fun for me to try and see how I would stack up on Boulder, so the FPO course, against some of the FPO scores. I thought it'd be fun to see if I could possibly even break top 10, um, see what the leader shot last year, and see if I could maybe crack top 10 on the FPO course against the FPO field. I thought that could be fun. And then I really don't think I could cash against the MPO scores, but I'd be happy to try that as well. So let me know in the comment section down below what type of content you guys want to see on the Blue Ridge Championship courses, because I'm going to be out there. I'm going to be filming content. Let me know what you guys want to see. Anyway, let's go grab everything. I want to give everything a quick, like two second review, and then we'll wrap things up. Just to give you guys a quick breakdown of everything. These old Elite X Avengers were probably the most surprising disc of the day. I mean, they feel absolute money. They go dead straight. And due to the lightweight nature, they come down nice and soft at the end of the flight, which when you have a basket that's placed near OB and you don't want your disc to skip too much once it lands, but you still want to throw a driver, that's where those lightweight drivers really shine and come into play for me. They're going to come down a lot softer than a max weight driver. Then we have 
This thing is an absolute gem. I may not quite have the arm speed for it, but it's a disc I'm hoping to grow into eventually. The sick patent pending Neutron Tesla. I may only ever find one of these in a used bin. This may be the only one I'll ever find. So I'm super pumped to have this Tesla. Then we've got those two Latitude 64 discs with the hilarious descriptions. Overstable long range driver with good glide. That's the flow, Matteo flow. I know Matteo was throwing the flow for a long time. It's an old discontinued disc. Man, this old Latitude Gold line really reminds me of like that similar color PFN white in of a plastic that it just has that same, it's stiff but grippy and just kind of just perfect in every way. These old gold line discs, you don't see them very often. And when I was able to find two of them, oh man, I was pumped. So then we've got old Ion. Not sure where this fits into my game, if it does or if it doesn't, but it's a very deep dish, beaded, stable throwing putter. Probably something that'll sit in my collection for a while until I do like an MVP challenge video of some kind or all MVP round. This is something that will definitely come into the bag, mostly just for the style points. But anyway, old ion, also pretty cool. Let me know what discs, if any, you want to see like a full nine hole round with or a full, you know, review on. I'd be excited to do that for you guys. But I didn't think any one disc here was notable enough for its own video. But if you do want to see a disc get its own video, just let me know in the comment section down below. And let me know what you guys want to see at the Blue Ridge Championship courses up at North Cove. I will be up there this weekend. So I'm super pumped to go play those three courses, River Run, Boulder, and the Gorge. Let me know what you guys want to see up at those courses. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and take care.